Hello tubers, Miss Cal here. This awesome train came with a remote, but it also says on the box there's an app. I opened the app, paired the remote, uh, paired the Bluetooth, which is just pressing that button and going onto the Bluetooth function. Uh, that little icon will light up. We've got a tick there. Now the train will drive. Minus makes it go backwards, plus makes it go forwards. Sound effects. But that's not the cool bit. Then I opened the other apps to see if they'd drive it too. Sure enough, the Disney train apps. The click's a bit clunky on some of them. The train app for the Disney ones. So every app there drove it. Um, also, the Batman one gave me what I would call the best control uh, on this one here because you can actually hold the dial and make the train creep. You don't have that amount of control when you're doing it with the, uh, the function that just gives you like 10% increments. But, I discovered there was coding. If you look in there, there's like these code blocks. Uh, up here, you open that, there's code tags. And I thought, okay, that looks a lot like Scratch. And then I backed out of there, and then I noticed the Create up here. And I opened Create, and then the next thing you know, I figured out that I was able to drive the train from code um, and it gets better check this piece of code out that there on the bottom that little tag there senses the tilt from the phone and you put that onto a motor drive function which you pull up from the green tags and the train engine is engine B so you have to go in there and actually change them. it's a bit clunky but you have to change it from A to B so it will work um, it's just which connection um, you're on your box there it's plugged into there are two connections for A and B so when we turn this on And the phone stopped. No, it's still recording. Press play. Watch this. Tilt. Tilt. So I'm driving the train from my uh, gyro sensor in the phone. How cool is that? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up.